I'm gonna tell you why. I am now running the Surefire EDC2 as my everyday carry handheld light. Surefire's recently come out with a line of turbo lights. They started with the X300 Turbo, and you can check out a link below to see a review. They then came out with a Scout Turbo, and that was quite a good strong light as well. You can see we've got reviews on that as well. And now Surefire has the EDC-1 and the EDC-2 DFT lights, and these lights continue a legacy of super high candela in a handheld light. Let's talk lumens versus candela. Lumens are what you need if you're going to need to illuminate a large area with a fair amount of light, that would require a high lumen output. However, if you're looking to search longer distances or put a high amount of light in a potential assailant's eyes and blind them, potentially controlling them, taking away one of their senses, then you want as much candela as you can possibly get. Now I've got here Surefire's EDC-2 versus the EDC-1. The only difference is the EDC-1 has an 18350 battery versus the EDC-2 has an 18650 battery. The two being a little bit longer, this being a little bit more of the size of light that we're used to carrying, and the EDC-1 being a little bit more compact. Now this EDC-2 is supposed to have 100,000 candela and 700 lumens which is quite a bit, but it is fewer lumens than you would get out of, for instance, the Olight offerings that are currently available for tactical lights. But you may want to consider the super high candela option, giving you that ability to control your potential threats. We tested this particular light out and it gave us 100,000 max candela. Now at 30 seconds, which is the ANSI Plato FL1 standard, it gave us 97,000 candela. Candela. I would say that that's a win and that's within the margin of error for Surefire meeting their specs on this EDC2. Now to give you a base of comparison for those Candela numbers, the Modlite 18650 OKW gives you about 70,000 Candela. Now the OKW Hog on the other hand is quite a bit more. It's got 175,000 Candela and it's legitimate. I had all these lights blasted in my eyes and I will tell you that the hog is just outrageously painful, uh, but both these EDCs are right behind it in terms of pain and the ability for the user to control a subject such as me. If you doubt the ability to have a high candela light control someone, find someone who's got one of these lights and go into a dark room and have it blasted in your eyes. You won't be able to fight effectively because you won't be able to see your opponent. That's a critical advantage and you get it without having to ever deploy a deadly force weapon. Pretty cool. Now these lights don't put out as many lumens. It has to do with the type of LED that's inside. It tends to be smaller, have fewer lumens, but they're able to then direct that light in a more focused direction. Now these are instantaneous numbers. Those numbers start to drop fairly quickly. At 30 seconds in, this is at 586 and this is at 561. And if you look at our 10 minute output charts, you'll see that this light drops within a minute or two to 433 lumens. This one drops even lower to 330. Now, once they reach that lower output point, this continues running for about an hour and a half at that lower output. This one does like two and a half hours at that lower output. It just keeps going. And you know, one of the things I've found for my own personal EDC2 that I've been carrying is that unlike some other brands, I can run this for a week or two with the same exact battery without recharging. I like that it just gives that consistent output. If it needs to step down a little bit, it steps down and doesn't annoy me with blinking, which happens to come right when I need the light. Surefire includes their excellent batteries and they do have a charging port integrated, so you don't need a full charger. And if you want, you can run two CR123A batteries instead of this 18650. As far as light quality, neither of these lights are spectacular. The CRI 
average numbers are right around 70, which is about what you would expect in the tactical light realm. And the color temperature is a little bit cooler than I prefer. Both of them are over 62,000 Kelvin. Now let's talk about two user interface items that you may or may not like. I personally like both of them. The first is this belt clip. It's a metal belt clip. It is press fit into the light and it probably has to be tapped out to remove it. I like this and I don't see a need to change it out for a theorem switchback. Even though the switch is rather high, I've noticed that it is a harder and longer throw than some of the competitive switches and that seems to reduce the chance of a discharge. I've been carrying this light for weeks and I don't think I have yet to experience a time where this light was on in my pocket when I did not expect it to be so. Finally, I have to talk about one of the features that I use all the time, and that is the fact that you turn this on, it comes on in high mode, and then you switch it on again, and it comes on in a low mode. This is perfect for administrative tasks. I love that feature because I am always needing a little bit of light to go ahead and work around the property, see my path, or even move around inside the house when it's dark and late at night, and I don't wanna turn on the lights and disturb my wife. That low mode is very useful for a ton of administrative tasks, and it does not come at the expense of having high mode available every single time I turn on that light. As far as negatives, I'm gonna be nitpicky. First is, we've got some theorems here in the shop, some switchbacks and we've not been able to get one of them to fit properly on this. So if you really want to run the switchback, you could potentially take the head off and put it on a mod light body, for instance. The only other nitpick is I sure, sure would like to have that head be about the same diameter as the body. That would make that an even easier carrying light for me. But really we're nitpicking at this point, given the current state of the art in lights, if you want an 18650 battery light that has super high candela and is very carryable and gives you the ability to do some administrative work as well, I think that this is probably your light. It's got the best candela of any everyday carry light that we've tested here in the shop. So what do you think about the Surefire EDC2 and EDC1 turbo lights? Do you think that they're a win or do you think that they should have focused more on lumens? please leave a comment down below. As always here at Works, we believe that dark times call for light bearing holsters. So we're dropping this video Thanksgiving week. And during this week, we have an event going on. We're calling it FDE Friday instead of Black Friday. If you wanna see what that's all about, you have to sign up for my weekly newsletter called Shan's Bullets. Please click the link down below to get signed up and you will get access to this exclusive event. Thanks so much for watching. This is Shannon Works signing off. Have a blessed day.